Guys, Anthony asked me to do this real quick, show you guys how to use two window buttons for syndesmosis fracture. Quick little video. Take a free suture, whatever it may be. I like to open up one endo button, cut the loop off, and use the number five ultra braid that comes on it, and then open up a plain endo button with it. That way we don't have to use any competitive products. And you can use the number five. So what I'm going to do is come through the inner eyelet here of one endo button, come through the inner eyelet of the other endo button I have in my hand, then I'm going to line them and stack them just like this, so they're together. Then I'm just going to take this free end suture, come through the two inner outlets on the opposite side, pull it tight, take that same end of the suture that we just used to start this process and do it one more time. It's nice and this suture is kind of old but with a fresh stitch it passes really easily through both sides. So there I have it again, pulling it tight, and then I'm going to line these up for one last time. Take that fresh end, stick it back through those inner eyelets, like so. Pull everything nice and tight. Then I'm going to pull on this limb here and get it loosened, I mean, excuse me, even with the other end. And then what you have essentially is two window buttons doubled over with the number five ultra braid. You got a syndesmosis device where essentially I'm going to take this endo button, flip it, pass it through with flipping stitches. You can toggle it just like you can for a ACL hamstring. When I get it to where I want it, I want to reduce the fracture. I pull on these two limbs evenly and as I pull them evenly it reduces down to the other button. As I pull, pull, pull I get it as tight as I want it and then I'm going to tie a knot and lock it in place. It's pretty sweet and the nice thing about it is it can be toggled so you know it's flipped on the far side. Cartex.